listen, I understand that it's becoming increasingly imperative that baseball is no longer America's pastime, but surely there is a better way to get attention than resorting to these scandalous tactics. That's it. That's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda watching Small Entertainment, and I don't know if you can tell from the everything about me, but I am a creative who comes from a baseball family. It's part of me that I keep hidden, locked away where no one can see it. But yes, I grew up in Orange County. I grew up going to Angels Stadium and going to Angels games. My family was a baseball family. My grandmother uh, had the largest collection in Southern California at one point of Dodgers memorabilia. My little brother played baseball for years, t-ball, then baseball and all this stuff. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't think he was that good, but you know, it made him happy and that's okay. There was also that time for two years in high school where my first real job was actually being a spy for my school's baseball team. We don't need to go into that because I'm not sure how legal that was, uh, but I am 26 now, so I think I'm okay. But I'm familiar with the game of baseball. I respect the game of baseball. I have never been the biggest of fans of it. I like going to baseball games. I don't like necessarily watching them the way that I like watching hockey or Formula One, okay? I will say that I very much enjoy it more now since they've introduced the pitch clock. Whoever came up with the pitch clock, mwah, I love you. You're super sexy. No idea what you look like, but I assume you're sexy. But first, let me tell you about the sponsor for today's video, June's Journey. I don't know if I can properly convey to you guys how excited I was when June's Journey reached out to me to sponsor a video. I have been playing June's Journey for literally years. I am at level 169. So much of my time has been taken up by June's Journey. So let me tell you why you also need to play June's Journey. June's Journey is a hidden object mystery game set on an island in 1920. You are playing as June Parker, who has come to this island to try and solve the mystery of the murder of her sister, while also uncovering even more of your family's many secrets. The scenes take you through different spots on the island and different rooms on the island to try and find clues to figure out what happened to your sister. I like hidden object games because though they are still more relaxed than say fighting games, they're a little more focus intensive than say matchup games. As you unlock different levels, you are earning coins so that you can fix up your estate as well as expand and add items to your island. I may have gone a little overboard with decorating my island. Think you can get to a higher level than me? Then go ahead and download June's Journey for free by clicking the link in the description box or scanning the QR code that's been on screen. Available on Android and iOS mobile devices. Thank you again to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. At the time you're recording this spring training is still going on for the 2024 season of Major League Baseball. And so some photos have been coming out and some, you know, reports, some just, just things are coming out, okay, about the new uh, jerseys and uniforms that they've been getting, the players, these professional baseball players have been getting, because um, there's a new provider, sort of, this year. Fanatics. Mainly Nike, but like, we'll get to that. I'm blaming Fanatics for this one. Fanatics actually popped up on my radar again recently um, because they were being talked about before all of this started, actually on Twitter, because some fans made some really cool uh, NHL merch, like homemade merch that looked great. And a bunch of people were like, oh, see, this is what we could have, but they're so focused on Fanatics. And that was talking about the NHL and Fanatics, not the MLB. And then all of these photos started coming out. And so I'm just gonna start showing you these photos because I think you'll start understanding what the problem is, okay? Um, you see Major League Baseball, professional baseball players. That's who's wearing these jerseys. I've just been collecting these over the last couple of days. So a bunch of these are not in order. They're gonna be like summer timestamps some days, summer timestamps the other days. And that's just because of when I've collected the receipts. This is the reason why everybody's so upset with Nike's new MLB uniforms. Starting this season, Nike and Fanatics are introducing their new elite template league wide and their limited template for fan replica jerseys. As the new fan jerseys have rolled out this off season, a lot of people are upset with how they look and feel. On these new jerseys, the MLB logo has strangely been shifted below the collar and the player's name has been shrunk and arched a lot more, making them look a lot like jerseys or kid size jerseys. There's also been a drop in quality with some really rough breaks between some of the word marks, nothing being sewn on, just heat pressed, and a lot of people saying the jersey and patch material look and feel much cheaper. And although you will get sleeve patches and front numbers with these jerseys, they cost an extra $40 compared to the ones from last year. Now that MLB players are starting to return for spring training, some of them are voicing their frustrations on the jerseys too. Miles Michaelis said they don't fit right, another player said they look cheap, and another said, quote, I don't like them. Now someone's gonna be like, who cares? They're jerseys, they're gonna get dirty, they're gonna get beat up. There's a level of quality I think you would expect from the jerseys at various levels of sports. I should not be able to go to Spirit Halloween and get a better looking jersey than someone on a major league team, okay? And that's just, 
logic. You cannot care about baseball. I fully barely care about baseball, but there's a level of quality that I think is just standard, standard quality, okay, for the players. These teams make a lot of money. These players get paid a lot of money. Some of them hemorrhage money. But at the very least, these budgets and fanatics, okay, specifically getting paid from this contract, there should be a level of like this, these, this back and forth for Crawford, the letters for Crawford. Okay. The size of the three, the placement of the three, even now these photos are slightly one's lower than the other. Okay. But the way the letters completely take over the back of his shoulder blades versus how skinny and small Crawford is, the letters are being essentially uh, hunted for sport by the three. If you look at it like those little fish game ads that you get all over other fun, more fun game ads, you know, the ones where you're supposed to like the fish is in the other fish. You get my point. That's a tangent, but you get my point. It just looks goofy. The quality just isn't there. The letters on some of them, it looks like they straight up, they're iron on patches almost versus stitching, even though I can tell they're stitching. But even on these, like the letters in a lot of instances, they're embroidered. Um, for the older styles. Canario as well just looks, it's not even center for his. The four is not center with his name comparatively. The size is crazy. The letters look cramped. Crawford is the one that a lot of people have been showing just the drastic difference of uh, the way the back looks. Garver as well. It looks like they smushed the R and the V together. For some reason, if anyone's letters are two digits, one of the letters is almost always lower than the other. And I don't know if that's wh the way they laid these out. I don't know if it's the way they produce these, but that's a consistency that I'm seeing that almost seems like a miscalibration in a machine somewhere. Like it's so consistent. Verlander for 35, uh, Verlander one, it looks like they ran out of letter space for him, but also for the numbers as well. It looks like one of them there it's tilted to the side. Now he is standing at an angle, but overall just, just the quality in general, it's crazy. Alonzo, uh, 20 looks blurry as hell. The, the Seattle Mariners patch is literally like a, a, printed patch versus the embroidered patch they've previously had. I see the outline of the shirts. Okay, right now I'm talking about the jerseys because that's the main thing, okay? That's what most people will be able to go and buy and to support their players, support their teams, okay? They will go and buy a jersey with their player's number on it, typically, okay? That's like the most common piece of fan merch when it comes to major league sports, okay? Understandable, it's the most iconic part of the sport uniform is the jersey. Easiest piece of merch to replicate and sell. Now, if these were fan merch jerseys, I would be a little more understandable because obviously to make them more accessible, to mass produce them, the quality has to come down a little bit. Now, is that right? Is that ethical? Not really, but you get what you pay for essentially with fan merch. These though are the players playing. Jerseys, that's what we see the most of, that's what we're gonna complain about the most of. However, there's another piece of this that has changed as well, that the MLB is straight up gaslighting people into thinking is not different, and that's the player's pants. The jerseys, when those photos started leaking from just media and things like that, people were complaining about that. But then we started getting more videos of the players standing further back, getting more of their torsos and their top part of their legs in the shot. And that's when people started realizing that these pants were essentially translucent. The MLB is playing a dangerous game right now. Yes, the players and fans are complaining about how outrageously cheap the new jerseys look and feel. But if you look a bit closer, something far worse sticks out. The pants are see-through. Did they not test these? How did this happen? According to MLB commissioner Rob Manfred, these Nike Vapor Premier jerseys, which are produced by Fanatics, were designed to be performance wear. The jerseys are different. They're designed to be performance wear. Well, let's just hope that performance is an X-rated. We've been seeing this the most, I would say, with teams whose uniforms have white pants. For the white pants, you can see straight up where they tucked in the tails of the jersey. In a lot of the players, you can see the outline of their briefs. And that is what I meant by scandalous tactics, okay? Because some of these photos, some of these stretches, we are seeing full ball outlines of these players. Okay, listen, I don't need to see that really. You know, we're not dating. You even bought me dinner. I don't need to see your balls. I don't wanna see your outline, okay? Fanatics, why are you trying to force this upon me? What is happening, okay? So I'm not gonna show those pictures because obviously I like being able to pay my rent. 
Hi, thank you for watching. It's just, it's ridiculous. So this one specifically, I can see this is, these are gray pants on this one. This is on Gibson, okay. Um, and you can see at least the slight outline I think I can see the actual tail of at least his boxers, if not the shirt. At the very least, it's the lining of like where the actual crease is of where he tucked it in. But for a lot of these players, you can see, oh no, you can see that line too. Totally can see both. So yeah, the top one is the the the, the shirt. So Otani, okay, signed with the Dodgers. Their uniforms right now, at least for spring training, are white jerseys, white pants. So Otani's, you can fully see where he tucked in the jersey. You also can see the line of where his boxer briefs end. Is this a ploy to get all baseball players to start wearing tidy whities? Because I don't think that's good for sports. So here, this shot of, I think this is the Padres. Their pants, you can't see much, but again, that could also be lighting where we are at. But the jerseys just all side by side look ridiculous. The sleeves look crazy. It looks almost like a football jersey because football jerseys, sometimes the band is a little tighter around the bicep, okay? Versus jerseys for baseball, where it is just like a regular flared sleeve. With football, it's almost like a little more cinched. So it's more of an elastic on the, the jersey band in some instances at least, okay? But that's almost what's looking like here. Real RGS on Twitter said, babe, wake up, MLB and Temu just dropped. Uh, this is Garver's jersey. This looks so ridiculous. God, it just, again, the R and the V together, there's a huge gap between the E and the R at the end of his name. The eight, again, I already talked about this. The eight is lower. That's happening with a few people. Chavez posted a photo of the, uh, his jersey with the letters messed up. And again, the zero on the 10 lower. And Fanatic support replied to the, a tweet, hey there, it looks like we dropped the ball on this one. Send me a DM so I can learn more about this because they thought it was a fan complaining about the quality. These are for professional major league baseball players. Oh God, this one's so goofy looking. Marty? Marte, sorry. They did him dirty like crazy. Jeez. I don't know how as someone in quality control at all, you would look at these and be like, oh yeah, we're cool with our brand being tied to this shoddy work. Shoddy is the only word I can really, uh, I, I would use a meaner word, but I mean, I just, I, I think at a level like this, it's not like quality control. It's that there's something fundamentally wrong in the execution of these designs, of the, of the manufacturing. Fuzzy from... YT said, wait, is the MLB calling all of their players liars? Because a couple of players have publicly said, we hate the jerseys. The jerseys are bad quality. These are awful. MLB just said the pants are the same thickness and material as years prior. The uniform pants have the same material and thickness as the uniform pants used last season, MLB said in a statement per the Wall Street Journal's Lindsay Adler on social media. There were changes to the fabric of the jerseys, not the pants. So the changes to the jersey apparently is to make it more breathable. I don't know why that would make the patches look like they were sewn on by a toddler. I've seen toddlers do better sewing than that. I don't know why the materials being more breathable would lead to a worse quality of the patches being put on. That is a separate issue. And that tells me that there is something completely wrong about the uh, the entire production process at the very least. If the quality of the shirts, the stitching. In some instances, I'm trying to find the photos of this right now, but in some of the photos I have seen, I believe on TikTok specifically, there are instances where the sleeves are completely separate stitching patterns, okay? Completely separate styles of sleeve design at the base. Like I mentioned how some of them look like football jerseys instead of baseball jerseys. Completely different for different players on the same team. So when a similar production batches, essentially, and they're having different styles of sleeves being stitched on, that's ridiculous. Forget quality control. That's just not caring at all. As far as the pants go, I, tw I tweeted this when I saw that note as well. I tweeted, I said, I don't know how they can say this when we've, the photos that we've been seeing. The only thing I can think of that would make the actual material the same as far as the pants go and why the MLB is like, the, the pants are the same, no changes were made. You guys are being crazy when visually we can see that there is clearly a difference in the material uh, based on just the opacity of the pants, okay? Is that the version that the MLB tested, either they're lying entirely about the testing or uh, the version they got had lining and the ones the players got doesn't. So the material might be the same, but previous versions of the pants had a form of lining or were at least a two layer pant, okay? Which would not be shocking 
But it, even pants like this, even for spring training, for safety purposes, you don't want them to be one layer. That sounds like a, a shredded thigh waiting to happen. For the amount of sliding that baseball players tend to do, okay, or stumbling and just stumbling in the dirt or whatever and doing a tumble or whatever, there should be two layers on those pants. So that's what it looks like. The material could be the same, but there's a layer missing, which again comes down to production issues or just a complete mess up on Fanatic's part to begin with. So an account aptly named Fanatic Sucks on Twitter said, since 2022, Fanatic's has been valued at over 30 billion, helped Nike destroy MLB jerseys, ruined the brands of Mitchell and Ness and Lids, ruined trading cards, struck a deal for NHL on ice jerseys that everyone is deathly worried about. Yeah, I'm worried too, okay? Really worried about those because of what we're seeing with the MLB I'm not super confident for what they're gonna do to the NHL. Anytime you think these Fanatics uniforms can't get any worse, they do. I mean, look at this. Can you believe, this is not a replica given to some fan. This is not a fan jersey. This is an on-field jersey that an MLB player was given in the locker room. Are we serious here? Now, not only are the jerseys bad, the pants are completely see-through. What the hell? I mean, this is this is terrible. Like, you can see way too much. And thank God we have somebody like Trey Turner to just call it how it is. Everybody hates them. Talking about the new MLB jerseys. They're lighter and more breathable. Great. I think players will sacrifice a little breathability so they're not showing their bare-ass thighs to national television. Sorry, I guess I've been really harsh on fanatics, and I should be also harsh on Nike who are also doing this because it's a Nike Fanatics co-project. So Nike, you're not escaping this either. You also especially should have better quality than this. All in all, um, I don't think this is gonna change anything um, until a player just takes one for the team and goes out on the field during a rainy game with no underwear on. I, I really think that that's what it would take, really. Or uh, start writing political messages on your chest in like black ink or something, uh, so that when it rains, we see that. Any black ink tattoos that are a little sus, those might come out. I think the budget's already there. I think they already paid them a lot of money. I think it's gonna be uh, annoying for at least another season now that we have these. We'll see how it goes, but I think backlash is the only thing that like fans can really do at this point. And then also just not buy the new jerseys. I mean, if they see a sharp drop off in jersey sales, that's going to, be the thing that they look at the most, you know, is, you know, acting with your wallet versus, you know, not. So this is a great time to start looking at Etsy or uh, other fan run sites that make independent jerseys or independent merch. That's a great thing to look at. A lot of vintage jerseys, a lot of things like that, they end up in Goodwill or at different vintage shops. They don't all end up being a bajillion dollars. Okay, I'm not talking about those ones. I'm talking about ones that just someone wore because they liked a player and then they got traded or whatever, you know, like I'm just, you get my point. Like there's a variety of ways to find jerseys that are older. Okay. Secondhand, um, Depop, Poshmark, eBay, a bunch of those are probably going to have jerseys. Um, same with kid sizes. They should have kid sizes as well. So if you really don't like these jerseys and you want them to be better in the future, one way that fans can specifically like act is by not buying the new fanatics jerseys that they sell for fans. That is an easy way for them to at least try and start making, they, they'll at least start looking at that more, hit them where they hurt their pockets because we can see through their pockets on their players' uniforms. Anyways, that's going to be it. Did you see these jerseys? Do you have thoughts on these jerseys? Did you hate baseball? Are you now very excited for baseball and you're hoping for a rainy game? I am. Let me know. Comment down below. Reminder of a podcast. Reminder that I am now streaming on Twitch. Reminder of the Small Entertainment is now available on Spotify. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd also support my Patreon, that was down below. Like, comment on social media. That'd be all up here. And that's going to be a hell of a day. Goodbye. I want to know how they got delivered. Were they delivered via boxes or were they like literally hand delivered like specialty, like whatever. We're going to like have a, a truck bring you guys the jerseys. Okay. I don't care how it happened. How did this make it in front of the players? I don't know how anyone on these teams would be like, we can't show these to the players. Like I, anyone at the, the fulfillment center, the, the fanatics Nike was like, oh, we can't put these out. Who?
Did someone do a line of cocaine and stop caring? What happened? Thank you, Oz, Eva, Ayana, Abby, Angel, Goth, Glenn, Palace, Pink, Jasmine, Lauren, Amy, Aslan, Medic, Rosie, Victor, Andrew, Tenzin, Sam, Mae West, Michael, Ryan, Adira, Nathan, Zwink, Literal, Jeffrey, Randy, QWERTY, Nomad, Thomas, Tasha, Donnie, Winter, Kenny, Robert, Cameron, Elliot.